Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So at the end of the previous turn we arrived to Moenburg and I said that I would do all of the trading and like the maintenance basically in between episodes, so I did that. We still have 1500 crowns left, we actually made quite a lot of money. Uh, when I sold everything we had like 3700 or something like that. Then I bought some tools and supplies, but more importantly because we had that much money, I decided to try with all, just I hit try out, it was, how much was it? 140 something like that gold and I saw some decent stats most importantly two star rain skill and Witch hunters have decent ish like base rain skill and with two stars and the guaranteed plus four uh, every turn that means he can uh, safely get to 90 points, plus he had one star in the resolve. So I started thinking a ranged surgeon. And um, as you can see, he should be pretty good at that. I already recruited him, so I could just really decide on the build. Don't have to do that on camera. So we will go ranged attack, uh, resolve, and then balance so that we don't have to worry about his uh, like defensive stats. Uh, and we will, the third uh, like stat every level up is going to be either hit points or fatigue. One thing that sucks here is that he doesn't have the hit point related perks. Uh, uh, Colossus and the other one, muscularity. Although with only 47, like the starting number, uh, that's pretty low. Maybe it doesn't really matter that much. I may even go for initiative if we get decent rolls, so we can use slightly better armor with balanced. We shouldn't have to worry about fatigue that much because we have of course access to mind over body. Uh, we are going fortified mind since we are mm, leveling him as a sergeant. He has relic, so he has the, all the relevant perks, which means um, all of his skills should be pretty cheap, like a uh, stamina wise. So we don't have to worry about that too much. We won't be using like a super heavy armor since we are going for balance. So we don't have to invest into fatigue every time. Uh, with uh, the defensive uh, stats from balance, we can more or less ignore the hit points. So we can probably go initiative like all the way. And we, he, nah, he has access to alert for a 20% boost even to initiative. So maybe actually that's the way to go. I will always see the, like the exact numbers on every level. Of course, if we keep getting bad rolls, I'll just switch. Uh, so yeah, this is where most of the money disappeared, but I think it was worth it. Now, I left the level up. That's something I want to do on camera. So plus four, plus uh, four. And uh, as I said, initiative. Let's go for that. If we keep getting plus five, it's gonna be great. Is there any reason not to go initiative? Is there anything that would... Yeah, definitely not going range defense for heightened reflexes. We don't want to go hit points because we don't have the perks related to that. And we don't care about, about fatigue because we will have mind over body. Okay, so as I said, one, two, three. And if he keep getting rolls like this, he's gonna be pretty good. As for perks, we will start with student. We want him to level up as fast as possible. Also, I repaired everything. I, we needed like two hours to fix everything, so I did that. And we can uh, start moving. So I decided to actually uh, walk to Berghain, not Berghaven. We all go this way, and I don't think we've ever checked this area. So there is a small chance that we find something here. And I also don't want to pay for the trip to Krumhorn. So fingers crossed that we find something along the way. We can probably go a bit faster. This way we'll also check one more one more village. It's been a while since we... Have we ever actually checked? Yeah, we have been in Bergheim before. Come on, Dawn. I want to see more. 
Uh, wow, terrified villagers, cultist procession. Uh, there's no point in paying even the tryout because uh, we can't afford Irma at this point. Hmm, interesting. A witch hunter called Geralt. Do we have a on the map somewhere? Well, since we can't afford it, Irma, might as well get out of here. What I want to check is 120, uh, that's too much. Food, we have enough food. How much do you want? Wow, way too much for tools and supplies and basically everything. Okay, uh, tavern. I heard some tombstones and old graveyard have been toppled over. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to tell me where the graveyard was. Mm -hmm. What is the quest? Follow tracks. Yeah, we can do this one. It's not that much money, but uh, I mean, it shouldn't take too long. These are usually quite safe. Probably shouldn't say that. Uh, what is this? Uh, is that the cat? The boy is putting you ask if could help them get the cat out of the tree. Looking up, you do see a feline flopped over a branch, basking in the sun. I don't think I want to knock it down with an arrow. I'll just keep going. A few marksmen, some poachers. Hmm. Problem is, we can't really afford to wait for the night. So this could be pain painful. Where are you running? Definitely don't want to fly them in the sword. Do I want to? Well, too late. Um, just thinking if I maybe want to fly them in the swamp. But it's always risky. Um, if you get lucky and get a decent starting position in the swamp, it's a huge advantage. But then you can also get screwed by the terrain. And just get completely destroyed. Okay, this guy is a priority. Can we reach him from here? I doubt that, but he will have to also come closer. So let's just wait. Um, huh. Move back. I want to have, can I have all my archers on the high ground? Well, I can. It's not ideal, but... Hopefully they come close enough. Hmm. Hmm. That's a great start. Look at that. Just got completely destroyed. Come on, can't we just kill that dog, please? Wow. At least we managed to hit this guy. Okay, so of course I can't hit this one. Line of sight, problem. 
Um, so if I moved forward, I still won't be able to reach him. The eye found the perfect position for him. 58. Well, at least he managed to hit him once. Look how well hidden they are. Oh, they didn't help. This terrain is horrible. Could try to kill this guy, maybe. Nope. Wait. Oh, this guy has a pretty good uh, uh, gear for a thug. Wait. <clears throat> what was my chance here? Fifty six. Nope. This looks bad. Wait. I'm gonna need some help on this side. Move forward. Try to get a kill, please. Nice. Now I need to kill this one as well. Okay. Do I jump down? I would have cover behind the tree. I need to get through these two. I probably do jump down. Then. Just stay here at the spear wall. Two, three, four. Wait. And do your best. Nice. Let's actually move closer so we have at least some cover. Wait. I can actually... No, I can't jump forward. Fifty-six, sixty-six. 66 okay I'll just go for the highest chance to hit not that it really matters it seems hide behind the tree we'll try to get those uh, poachers next turn wait, wait good 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 they're retreating excellent Wait. Now, if we could finish off this guy before he can attack again. Ow. I can't. <sighs> Line of sight again? Great job. Should probably get rid of this tag. Move 
closer. One, two, three, four. If I do that, I'm dead. Or I'm dead. Grimald is dead. One, two, three, four. I can hide here. I'll try it again next turn. Hit the head, please. What? That wasn't even in the direction I was aiming. I'm gonna hit points there, 22, okay, we should be able to survive that. Oh. Yeah, we should be able to survive the bleed, it's one uh, hit point per turn. Uh, okay, let's try to kill him. How do I protect our archers here? I could just just stop them here then I would need some help or I could go here and go at spear wall I think I'll go spear wall um, same here still finish off this one one two three it's, this is a bad idea I could stop here perhaps Ah, uh, this is a horrible idea. Wait. I have to do everything to make sure that Crossbowman doesn't run away. Die! Or at least get hit. That's a bit better. One, two, three, four. Great. Oh, come on, it was seventy percent. I know that sending Hamrat forward means just he's gonna die. He's gonna get one shot by the, by the marksman. If I want to catch the marksman, I don't feel I have a choice. Please hit him, great. So this one, this guy's locked. I can go back here, look this one, 61, oh shit. Sure. This is gonna hurt. It's probably about one shot, it's about the crossbowman. Wait. Go 
out so we can kill this one. That's good. Now we have to do something about this one. 19. Well, it worked. Wait. 66. Please hit that poacher. Don't hit, I don't know the names still, but just no friendly fire if possible. Ah, almost. Need to kill this one so that I can one, two, three, four. I can get closer to that marksman. I didn't get hit. I'm surprised. Ow. Actually, that's not bad. Come on, kill him. No, oh, this works as well. So instead of killing him, we can go here. And maybe this guy's gonna actually one, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll go here. I was hoping this guy would panic. Wait. Probably should help with this one. was risky. I was hoping that if I moved to him, he would panic. Could knock him down. Try it at least. What's the chance? Eight, 89 is decent. Still trying to catch that marksman. Wait. He's too fast. Oh, he's actually, maybe we have a chance. How did you miss that? Wait. One, two, three. Can I make it? No. Let's wait again. Come on. Ah. How many are there? Four. One, two, three, four. Did he panic? Oh. That's what we needed. So now I can finally get to the marksman. And I don't care if this one uh, makes it in the end. Now it's only about the crossbow. Do we get the crossbow or not? We can actually capture, oh, capture, catch all of them. This one as well. Can I, I can even reach him. If we get the crossbow, then maybe this fight wasn't such a disaster. I mean, it's still pretty bad. First turn was just horrible. But if we 
get that crossbow. I think it's acceptable. It's just gonna take a while to recover from that. Can we stab him? 87, that sounds good. And he panicked. Okay, so we should be able to end it here. Good. So no one made it from them. What are the injuries? Minus 50% fatigue, minus 10 fatigue recovery. Okay, that's bad. Uh, Grazed neck, it's not the end of the world. Pierced arm muscle, that's worse. Problem is that two of our three stun bots are out. Any levels? No, no one leveled up. And we got the crossbow. Good. Other than that, uh, nothing else really. I can maybe use the leather cap. Mm -hmm. Who gets the crossbow? 71. Well. That's easy. We can get rid of this one. Uh, that's what, that's 40 points. I think we can get rid of, actual wait, this is an upgrade. This is probably destroyed. Fifty five. This is slightly better. This one, unless someone needs it, what's this one? 55, 75, okay. What's the base here? I think everyone now has uh, like 55 to 65 point base. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna keep this one or can I get better? Okay, so we're gonna keep this one. We're gonna keep that cap and we can get rid of everything else, I think. Maybe, do we have two? You don't have two quivers, so let's use that second quiver. Now we just need to heal up, which is gonna take a while. I should probably... Just give them time to rest. Okay. Did I forget about something? I need to make sure that everything gets repaired. Uh, yeah, that's fine. This one. Okay, let's get our reward. And we can check if there's maybe something new for us. 
<clears throat> or maybe the prices are better. 98 for the peat bricks. I'm not sure that I want to buy them because how much can we make of them? 10 gold on one. Is there something else that will be worth buying? I may actually want to buy uh, medical supplies. We're gonna need 7 to 17 to completely recover. Maybe buying like 10. It's not a bad idea because the prices are quite decent now. All right, but just how much can we get for the items? Two twenty. That's not bad. I'll keep that. This is worth keeping. This is probably worth keeping. In general, the armor is worth keeping. You can get a decent amount of tools and supplies from that. We want to keep this one. We can get rid of all of this. We want to keep the shield. There. So now we have, what, 2400, let's say. Uh, maybe I will do it. So if we stay under 2000, don't fulfill the ambition yet. There. Okay, go. Maybe instead of buying those bricks, I should have um, checked the uh, that militia man. Can we make it in time? Come on. So what do we have here? Could maybe check uh, some farmhands because we have uh, the pike and um, farmhands have some like pike specific uh, perks. It's uh, it's actually pitchfork specific, but. Uh, it's similar to the other ones like the spears and uh, the others that when you don't have like the exact weapon it requires it gives you still 25 percent Is it worth it? Let's check perks. She has Colossus. And Muscularity. This might be worth it actually. checking for uh, like resolve related perks but i don't think we have access to that mind over body is that somewhere no
Okay, once again, so we have access to... It's like on 71 hit points. It's 71 hit points base, even without stars, I think it's worth it. So we could go hit points, uh, fatigue, melee skill. Uh, we can get decent armor with brawny and battle forged. Not amazing, but I think worth it for now. So once again, uh, let's make that note. Melee attack, fatigue, hit points. Those, if these two stars were in the hit points, damn, should be good. Oh, well. Potentially good, depends on the rolls that we'll be getting. And the question is, since we are not going to be using uh, a pitchfork, is it worth it still for the 25% effect? That will be plus 4. And uh, we have the second part as well, 1 to 4 damage. It's probably not worth it. At least this is not worth it. The hay bailing may still be worth it because it also adds 25% uh, armor damage. No, it also is only one quarter of that for a poor arms. Um, is it worth it? I think this one still might be worth it. Uh, not this one though. We'll go Polar Mastery. Promise I don't see... Um, uh, names. I don't see Berserk. And I don't see the other one either. Uh, Clarity, I think. That is a problem. Okay, so we will get rid of her eventually. If uh, she had access to one of those two, I would maybe even keep her in the end. Well, I probably don't want to mark as X. X is like a throwaway that I want to like. Well, I don't want to like kill them intentionally as soon as possible, but those are characters that will go first. She can stay for a while, it's just not good enough to stay forever. What is this? Secure old graveyard. I don't think we want to be doing three skull contract when uh, it's almost guaranteed undead. I think... We'll just sail to Berghaven. How much is that? We can walk there. Uh, this way. And from Berghaven we could sail to Albeck. But what's the chance that we find something here? How much is the price? Berghaven. 100. Oof. Such a short trip and for 150. Okay, fine. Hmm. Hidden temple and the swamps north is up here. Don't know who lives there. Uh, is that this? Yeah. How much are you guys paying? I didn't check in the uh, in the previous village. Damn it! Hunt down with her. As it, yeah, we are not doing this one. Hmm. 
much is it sale to all back it's probably gonna be to actual 170 only let's go much are you guys paying here it's even worse we need to sell all of it what about some decent contract here except hum <sighs> come on Well, I think we'll probably climb the mountain. I'll just camp here. We need uh, some healing and repairs. So I'll camp here, then uh, climb the mountain, check if there is something, you know, here or to the south. And then we probably go south. I don't think we have... Yeah, we've never been to Sandsturmfeste or... any. Actually, we have visited Wormbach, but I don't think we have visited... This one, no. So you can check these two, then also check the planes around here. We'll probably go like south, then here, then around here, and then through gra grasslands north, something like that. And hopefully we, we find some uh, uh, brigands, this time with raiders. We need raiders for more upgrades. I think that's the plan for the next episode. But uh, we are done today, so I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you can join me next time again. Until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.